I'd like to talk about the four big milestones in communication that made possible the data networking or data communication that we have available to us today. These are not just inventions, but also milestones in the sense of the way that we do things. So let's take a look at them. The first is the telegraph. In this upper corner here, you see a standard telegraph. There would be a cable going from one telegraph station to another, and you could just tap out the, the message. And then down here in this picture, you see a, a printing telegraph, which is quite interesting. Uh, as the, the uh, signals came in, the operator would uh, touch one of these piano keyboard type keys uh, corresponding to the letters as they came in and that in turn would then print the message on this tape. Uh, the importance of the telegraph is that it introduced this idea of layering our communication so that for example the information itself which is the message that you want to communicate the content has to be coded in, into some sort of code in this case, it was a Morse code in the case of the telegraph. Today, computers use ASCII or Unicode or some other coding system. And so we have, we have to turn the information into the codes. And then we have to send those codes over some signal, a physical, uh, such as electrical or, or, or even radio signals, but some physical medium by which we can send those codes in, in a physical form. And then at the other end, you reverse the process. You take the signal, uh, turn it into a code, and then take the code and translate it back into the original message. And so we see this layer process, and this is going to be extremely important as we go through this course. We're going to introduce a more elaborate version of this uh, set of layers or this model of communication. The next one is multiplexing. Multiplexing is the ability to send more than one conversation along the same medium at the same time. You're probably familiar with this. For example, if you have cable TV at home, you're able to receive multiple channels, so multiple conversations, all at the same time. You Now you have to tune in. You have to set your frequency range to one, uh, one station, one channel. And then if you want another one, you have to set it to listen to that particular channel. There are two or three different ways, actually a couple of big ways that we can do this, by the way. And we'll talk about that later in the course. But just be aware that this multiplexing thing does a couple of things for us. It decreases the cost. For one thing, if I can send lots of conversations over one wire, then I don't have to have a whole bunch of wires to send different conversations and it increases bandwidth. Now, by bandwidth, we mean how much information can I send at a time. So by multiplexing, I can get more information over one wire than I can if I only send one conversation. So it, uh, it increases our bandwidth. The third one is switching. Now, if you can imagine if every telephone in the world had to be connected together to every other telephone. You would have to have, in this case, I got four phones, and each phone has to have three wires coming from it, one to each other phone. Uh, now, this sounds a little absurd in phones, but imagine the telegraph. Actually, in the case of telegraphs, this is the way we did it. We actually had to have wires going from one telegraph station to another telegraph station, and then another wire which went to a third telegraph station, and yet another wire that went to a fourth telegraph station. That actually, We were actually doing that, and telegraph wires in New York, or, which is kind of a, the central uh, area of, of uh, the, the most dense area of telegraph stations, was just immense. There were wires everywhere, thousands and thousands and thousands of wires going everywhere. But uh, by switching we can have only one connection to each device and we can so we can just switch it so that by going through the switchboard then uh, I can connect to this one or to this one or to this one and only have one wire for each device so that uh, we eliminate having to have a whole bunch of wires for each device. The last one 
is packetization. Now, packetization means we're going to take a message and chop it up into small bits. And each, each little packet has to have separate addressing information in it. And you can see a couple of things here that we can do. It, it allows for easier multiplexing. So, for example, here I've got a wire and I've got packets from three different conversations all going down the same wire. So this does allow for one of the means of multiplexing. There's another one. And again, we're going to talk about multiplexing later, in the, uh, later on uh, in more detail. Uh, but it, it can allow for multiplexing. It can also allow for better switching. So in this case, these are not different conversations. In this case, these numbers represent uh, different packet numbers. So packet number one, two are going to this top switch. Packet number three goes to this switch, packet four here, and then packet five here, packet six here, and so on. And I'm not clogging up this switch with one conversation, uh, but I can spread it out uh, in order to uh, take advantage of the fact that uh, one switch here might be less busy than another switch. So those are the four biggies. So hang on to your, uh, I don't know what you hang on to. H hang on to the uh, dashboard, buckle your seatbelt, and we're in for a, a great ride.